This is a fairly tricky kinematics problem. We've done a couple like this where one object was moving, another object was moving, one started ahead of the other, and it's where, where do they meet and when do they meet. This one's a little different because instead of saying, let's say, this one starts later than that, that as far as position, it's time. I've got Superman here and a bullet. And Superman wants to show that he can catch a speeding bullet. So someone shoots a bullet at 300 meters per second, and Superman's going to chase and grab that bullet in air. But Superman's going to wait five seconds, and that throws a little bit of a twist into our calculations. So here we got Superman and a bullet, and I'm going to find out when they meet. And the thing to realize is, at the time they meet, their displacement is the same, and the time is pretty much the same. So these are all I know about. This is everything I know about Superman. This is everything I know about the bullet. So let's come up with the equation that's going to govern um, Superman's motion. His motion, d equals v1t plus 1 half a t squared. This is going to set how far Superman travels. And I picked that equation because I have v1 and a, and I know there's some relationship between time between the two because Superman waits five seconds later than the bullet when the bullet goes. So, uh, let me put this in. Superman's position is, well, V1 is 0. He starts from rest, so that's 0. Plus 1 half 40 T squared. And this is the time of Superman. So I'll put a little subscript there. Okay? So, Superman's position is always described as 20 time of Superman squared. This is the equation that governs his motion. Now I'm going to look at the bullet. Well, the bullet is uniform motion, so its equation is V equals D over T. So the distance or the change of position of the bullet is the velocity of the bullet times the time that it takes the bullet to move. Uniform motion. So if I plug in some numbers there, I get that the bullet is 300 times whatever time interval takes place. So there's that. So these two are equal. When they meet, they're in the same position. So I can set this equal to that. But the problem is, I still have these two unknowns. So what I need to do is find the time, a relationship between the two times. And what I'm going to say is, the time for the bullet, well, the time the bullet takes to get there is related to Superman's time. If it takes the bullet five seconds, uh, eight seconds to get there, then that leaves Superman only three seconds, because he waits five seconds. So if the time of the bullet was eight seconds, the time that Superman would have would be three seconds. So it's going to be the time of Superman plus five seconds. If Superman takes three seconds, you have five, then the bullet must have been traveling for eight seconds. This is the part that's difficult to come up with. Once you've got that, you, you're ready to go. Okay? So I'm going to plug this in there. The position of the bullet is 300 times Superman plus 5. So I'm going to relate these two together. The displacement of Superman is equal to the displacement of the bullet. So 20 times of Superman squared equals 300 times T of Superman plus 5. I have now just one unknown. I've related this to this, one unknown. i got to expand that. 20 times of Superman squared equals 300 times of Superman plus 1,500. Well, that's a quadratic, so I put it into a formal quadratic. 20. Now it's just, now it's just math. Here's an equation I need to solve for t. So 20t is Superman squared minus 300 times the Superman minus 1500 equals zero. There's my quadratic equation. Okay. So some of you in your calculators have a quadratic equation. Uh, you remember it's negative b. Well, that's b is negative 300. So times the Superman is negative b, which in this case would be positive, plus or minus the square root of negative 300 squared minus 4 times 20a times c, negative 1500, all over 2 times a, which is 20. So t equals, and I get 2 times, negative 3.95 seconds, or 
18.95 seconds. So this is the time we're going to use because this one is irrelevant. So Spider, uh, Superman and the bullet meet up at 18.95 seconds. So where are they at that time? I can plug into this one or this one. But at this one I got the bullet so I got to use this to find that. So this is easier. I have the time of Superman. So let's plug it in. Position of Superman is 20 TB squared. Time, sorry, time of Superman squared. So it's 20 times 18.95. Where do they meet? They meet at uh, 7182. 7182 meters. We round that off to 7.2 kilometers. 